Ladies and gentlemen, I'm putting together an exercise bike for the vlog, but in the meantime, we thought we could answer some business questions I gathered from y'all on Instagram, Silent Michael 2 k Sometimes we do Q and A's. Um, and as time has gone on, over the 12 years of doing Q and A's, it seems people are asking less about protein macronutrients and how to lock out your deadlift. And people are asking me more about like branding and business and uh, I claim to be no guru, but today I'm gonna answer all your business questions to the best of my ability to hopefully help you in your life, your wealth, your business, side hustle, etc. So. Uh, Sebas has the questions and we're diving in. I think there's formal ways to have like a business plan. And then in general, there's just, um, you know, cause if you're trying to present to a group, an investor or whatever, you're gonna have, have to have a lot of details figured out, right? Cause basically you're trying to get someone to buy into your project or your idea. And so they wanna know X through Z. Um, and in, in companies I've invested in, you know, the restaurant, uh, they had a lot of numbers and stuff broken down. If I'm building a business plan for me or a business partner or my team, I'm more so looking at the um, boundaries in which I want to make money on. So that's kind of what it is. Like some of the branding stuff, yeah, and the marketing stuff, yeah, but it's more the X's and O's, what your demographic looks like and what the actual business model, what is bringing in money. And that's kind of what the business plan is. It's not like I want to open gym. Like, all right, well, what does that mean? Like, how are you gonna make money? Is it gonna be personal training? Is it gonna be classes? What's the square foot look like? Um, it's kind of like you read a whole book and you gotta give a, a, a book report on it. That report would be your business plan. So they don't need to be everything that's in the book, but you should be able to read the business plan and have a pretty dang good idea of how this company functions and makes money. Sure, some of the X's O's, again, are, are left out because you don't need to know the exact website or money processor or whatever all that stuff doesn't necessarily have to be in there but a pretty dang good guidance of what the hell's going on that's a really good question like um uncertainty and like fear i think lies in everything um and i've talked about it multiple times because we podcasted in youtube through the process of building the gym um for me a couple things one i've never had a job two uh two uh, I've always done like multiple things. So if one thing starts to hurt, I can put more energy there and build it up, et cetera, et cetera, vice versa. Three, I've talked about, there's a, this is a Matt's alley. Who's the sack climber? The, maybe the famous one from Miraloma and shit. That kid like was studied and talked about how he has like no adrenaline fears or he does, but they have to be ramped up so much harder for him to feel any anxiety or fear. I kind of feel like that with business and I don't know if it's good uh, necessarily because um, fear is obviously uh, a, a safety mechanism in humans, right? It's built for us to tell us, yo, what's going on, right? That's why our, we have nerves in our hand, right? That's literally a safety net. So when you feel hot shit, you're like, this is gonna burn me. And then you move away from that hot shit. Um, so having a fear I say would, would be normal, but all the questions that, that that fear brings on, like what if it fails? What if I go broke? What if I this? What if I that? Um, I would always just say like flip that. And I hate the corny life coachy shit, like cups half full, but you start to get that in your brain and you're way more likely to succeed. Like what if you win? What if you it takes off? What if it's really hard, but you put in the work day in, day out and you turn it around and succeed? What if it's a difficult thing that's gonna cause you a lot of stress, but you're gonna make it through? Um, you start to get those conversations in your head and with your team, you'll probably be better off. And if you played sports, a lot of that comes through. Like a hard workout, a hard whatever, yeah, it's gonna be hard, but it doesn't mean you can't make it through. It doesn't mean you won't um, find your way through the entire thing. I think uh, having some kind of backup plan is good. You know, that part, I, I'm a little, you know, there's mixed messages online. Some people are like, we'll have a plan B. And some people say, no, you have to follow through fully with your plan A. I don't really know where I sit in that conversation. Um, but I do know when it comes to like life or death, I have friends and family that I can sleep on their couch. Like, and I've always said that. Uh, two, I've always had a skill, which is like my ultimate plan B. Like I'm a personal trainer, I'm a coach. Like worst case, I can coach people and make money. Um, so if you have absolutely zero safety net, yeah, maybe you do have reason to concern, but most people have like some kind of degree, some kind of connection, some kind of something. And I always know that if the world explodes, I can go sleep on my mother's couch or my friend's couch and I'll probably be okay. Number one to be an online. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just so funny. 
<laughs> my bad. That was <laughs> number one to be an online coach is build the skill of being a good coach, communicating with people, obviously programming, nutrition, all that, the X's and O's. Um, and then it's how you market yourself. But number one, you know, the cream rises at the top. If you're getting results, if people enjoy how you communicate, how you work with them, uh, you'll probably be fine off. And then, uh, yeah, that's easy. It's easy. It's like any other business, man. The X's and O's got to be there. And then the selling and marketing on top. That's how I think of everything. Like good cake can't just be the frosting and toppings. You need a really good base of cake and that's how everything works. And so in training, it's how you communicate with people, being timely, uh, knowing your X's and O's, knowing how to uh, pivot nutrition and, and lifting protocols for people's lives. Um, yeah, again, the communication, the organization, and then it's how do you market, how do you sell? So then you can worry about Instagram posts and whatever bullshit to attract a new audience. But marketing is a difficult thing, right? So you always think about like marketing is the top top of the, of the funnel to get people into converting into selling. And so it's how, how do people see you? How do they know about you? Brand awareness, et cetera. Um, no lie, you know, I, I get a, a cheat code in the video game of business because I've built an audience on the internet over the last 12 years. And so any time you've built an audience or you have a following on the internet, now I have automatic people to see the product I'm trying to sell. And then if they F with it, again, if the, the, the frosting looks good, then the frosting tastes good, then the cake tastes good, the X's and O's of the product are good. Uh, you know, good company's quality product is like what I spend most of my time on. I need to spend more time marketing it. Uh, Sebos helps me a ton, but I spend the majority of my days um, sourcing, talking to manufacturers, designing uh, to make the product itself better. And then you go into the, uh, the, the sales, right? What does your website look like and the ease of use, the description, the pictures, all that. And then the marketing, how, how do you reach people? Um, and kind of number one in all business right now of products is affiliate influencer marketing. That's um, kind of a fail-proof, cheapest, best resource to get the word out on any product you have. So I'll start there. Creating your own content is the freest. Uh, paid ads and all that you can get into, but I wouldn't dive into that too far until you have the X's and O's and some of your free channels. So the internet, man, social media, blogs, YouTube, podcasts, Instagram, TikTok, all of them, but choosing one or two that you're really good at and, and uh, you can create some form around either yourself or the general mission of your brand. That's it. Um, more business talks, man. Ask your questions below. Welcome to the vlog channel. We're gonna put a little bit more attention here, both uh, hopefully sharing my life, vlogs to come, travel, New Year's, you know, we slow down a little bit, but January, February, I'm sure me and Seb also hit the road and we'll take y'all with us. Uh, business, clothing, cars, fashion, just the shit I'm into is gonna be here. So obviously fitness is a part of it, but less instructionals. Appreciate you guys kicking it, man. Solid Mike. Catch you in the next one.